Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday the 12th of January 2021. And I keep wanting to say 2020, but in about three weeks time, it will probably resolve itself. There is a light drilling going on outside. Um, Sandman sold the house a while ago. He sold it for a lot of money, actually. He, he modernized that bad boy. I know, I think I've said this before, but I was expecting this kind of beautiful, old, restored house, and he went real modern on that stuff. So no wonder he was sanding so much. But anyway, there's always someone drilling on this street, as the actress said to the bishop. So hopefully it won't get too intrusive. We're having a quick bit from The Night Sky, the ladybird book that I found in the other room when I was clearing out the house. And we're looking at the lunar landscape. Okay, the moon shows up as a particularly interesting object in a telescope. The best time to look is when it's about half full. This is because at this phase, the slanting rays of the sun illuminate the mountains along the straight edge down the middle of the moon. Is that what they are? Throwing long shadows on the ground and making the landscape stand out clearly. I'll show you the picture. Look at these pictures, look at those. I know. There are mountain ranges there about the same height as the mountains on earth and wide smooth plains called seas, which look less bright than the surrounding rough country because they reflect less light. I did not know that. It is these that cause the pattern of the man in the moon. Oh, most interesting of all are the craters of a circular shape which are dotted all over the moon's face, many of which are believed to have been formed by large meteors crashing there in the distant past. Neither air nor water exists on the moon. There's no rain, no wind or weather, and of course no life. Or is there? I don't know. It is a dead, silent world, children. The moon too keeps the same face turned towards the earth which explains why the same man is always there. Now you know. There you go, a bit more of a close-up of the picture. Got your love, got, got your love? Got to love a ladybird book. Anyway, I'm using a new tarot and it is the sister deck to the light seers. One of you, please identify yourself so I can say thank you, said, did you know there's two? The Muse Tarot. So it is the same people, Chris Ann, who did the Lightseers Tarot. This is a sister deck called the Muse Tarot, and we are using it. We're using the musing. Okay, what do we need to know for Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Or if we're reading astro astrological, I cannot speak today, astrological news, it would be Tuesday. Should we just start off with the tower? Oh, go on then. Go on then. Now, the suits are a bit different in this, but I've kind of learned them, so we're all good. To be honest, I did guess them. I would say if you are a beginner, this is not the deck for you. Okay, if I was a beginner, I'd be starting with a Rider Waits. Oh, this is nice. Okay. How nice. So we've just talked about this. Overall energy card, the moon. Can you see that properly? I think so. Now we know what we're looking at, people. We are not looking at a man in the moon. We are looking at mountains and lakes. Okay, the moon, Pisces, Neptune energy. Interesting because we've got a new moon in Capricorn tomorrow, okay? Did a video on that, so have a look. There's a love reading for it. Okay, so we kick off with the tower. Some kind of, is that even the right way up? Yes. Some kind of epiphany, some kind of, I wanna say groundbreaking realization. But what it might be, I think, is an echo. And I don't know why, it just comes to mind. Some sounds, start as an echo. The faintest, the faintest noise of someone drilling down the street. The faintest kind of echo of a truth of something, which I think maybe once we get past the new moon and maybe onto, I think we've got a full moon as in Leo at the end of the month. 
that echo might have become more of a voice, okay? It just feels like a small, it does, it literally feels like an echo. I can't put it in any better way than that, okay? So I'm thinking if you were in some kind of mountain and you were getting the echo between a mountain, okay? I know. Now, instead of having wands, cups, and I was gonna say knives, wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. Oh my God, Gemma, come on. Um, we got the five of voices. Now, voices are air in this one, okay? So we've got the five of swords. Venus in Aquarius, a feeling of being slightly cut off. What it feels like to me is that you're feeling slightly cut off. A lot of us are, we're all in quite interesting life situations at the moment, considering what's going on in the world. And there is a sense of detachment. And this is that feeling of an echo or a noise that lets you know that someone else is there. Someone else that I think you didn't think was there. Someone, it can of course in this modern day and age be a text message. You know, that can be an echo from your phone, literally. You know, a DM, a text message, or however people communicate. I'm not expecting that hardly anybody at the moment is actually gonna be walking in the mountains, okay? And then we get over here, the six of inspiration, which is the six of wands. Fire energy, sixes, pleasure, success, happiness, victory, this feels good. It feels like a surprise and it feels like a shock at the same time. This is a bit of mixed feeling that I'm getting here. It's a message or a breakthrough from somebody, and this won't be for everyone, that makes you feel a bit apprehensive, but also could change things along the line, okay? Over here, we've got the Eight of Inspiration or the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands, as we know, is communication. Something coming in, something across the waves. It has, for me, often in the Rider Waite, it's got like the Eight Wands coming across the screen. It can be digital communication, text messages, emails, social media, but it can be face-to-face, -face, if anyone does that anymore, I doubt it, um, over the phone or literally telepathically. Think about the echo, okay? The echo is like the moon is to the sun. So the moon reflects light and an echo reflects sound. And this is the reflected message from somebody. So it is not completely direct. It may come via a third party. It may come via social media or via some kind of roundabout way of hearing it that I actually don't know what it is. And if I knew what it was, it wouldn't be indirect because you'd know. Okay, so we have the moon card and then over here we have the death card. Scorpio energy, renewal, transformation, moving on to something deeply moving, deeply new, deeply different. I feel like this is something that will not particularly register until we're a bit down the line in 2021. But when you look back, you will think, ha you know, sometimes the tower is an aha moment rather than a <laughs> moment, you know? I know we come to fear the tower, don't we? And it's like, oh my God, the tower. But I don't really, I'm kind of opening my mind to the tower a lot more and I see it in a lot more creative ways than that. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Wisdom of the hidden realms. Yes, of course, wisdom of the hidden realms, of course. Gaia's garden, reaping what you sow, abundance, okay? Do you remember we've been getting the page of cups and the knight of cups quite a lot? Fruition, this is something that has come from the past. I'm sure we had the six of cups the other day. It is an echo of something. It's an echo of something or someone, but the seeds were sown in the past, okay? And then with it, the phoenix, that is like the death card burning off the old, but also bringing in something that is very fresh and new and transformed. It's not completely new, it's transformed from something old. Yeah, I get that. Healing with the Angel's Oracle card, we get retreat. And this is the way it is. An echo is like a retreating sound. It is not 
a fanfare, a trumpet, an out there thing. It's something echoey, reflective, a whisper. I want to say a rumor, but it's better than a rumor. Um, a half saying, a half message. I can't make it any clearer than that, or it would be clearer than that, but I would like you to leave me a comment and let me know if this is resonating with you because I'm actually really interested in this message. So do check out your January readings in the description box and otherwise I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.